In this video, I will show you step by step how to make a felt living room, another room for the free dimensional dollhouse quiet book collection. There is a fireplace with a moving fire, a wall picture, a shelf, and a TV set with the buttons that can be detached with Velcro. On the other wall, there is a sofa in which we can put a cute doll. A detachable white kitten sleeps on the carpet, and next to it, on a the table, there is a book that the girl can read. You can find the patterns in my Etsy store, so let's get started. We will need stiff felt, scissors, vanishing markers, clips, velcro tape, full punch, long ruler, and buttons. Prepare patterns with the title base page part 1 and 2 and cut them out. Place patterns on pink felt, outline shapes with vanishing marker, then cut them out along the drawn lines. In this paper pattern, make holes in the places of dots. Place patterns on pink elements so that they overlap and draw dots in the places of holes. Arrange first part of the base page in this way and connect these four dots according to the pattern. In the place of this dot, we will make a hole at the end of our work, so remember not to sew any elements in this place. Prepare velcro tape and velcro pattern and cut out 6 pairs of velcro with loop and hoop side. To prepare the base page, we will need three pairs of velcro. The remaining elements we will use later. Place velcro with a hoop side in the place of this dot and sew it along the edge. Arrange the second part of the base page in this way and sew two velcros with a hoop side in the place of these two dots. The remaining velcros all with a loop side placed on the rest dots and sew them on. Save this element for later. 
Now prepare patterns of a title living room part 1 and cut out patterns to make a fireplace. Place patterns on the right color of felt, outline shapes and cut them out along the drawn lines. Place yellow flame on black element. There is 7 mm from the upper edge and so only its bottom edge, from here to this place. In the next step, place orange element here, 5 mm from the bottom edge and so only the bottom edge from here to this place. On top, place a red flame and also sew only the bottom edge. Prepare a white element, place it on top. 4 mm from the bottom edge and sew along the edge with black thread. Place brown element here to cover the bottom edge of the flame and so from here to this place at the beginning and end of sewing so forward and back and repeat three times. Place prepared element on the upper left part of the base page. There is 7 mm from the right edge and 9 mm from the bottom edge. Sew along the edge with white thread. The remaining two elements place here to cover the upper and lower edge of the white element and sew them along the edge with white and blue thread.
Now please cut out patterns to make a picture. Place patterns on the right color of felt, outline shapes with vanish your marker, then cut them out. Mountain place 3 mm from the bottom edge and so only the bottom edge from here to this place. Prepare a small piece of yellow felt and a hole punch. Choose the largest size and make one circle. Place circle over the mountain and sew it by hand with yellow thread. Place prepared element on the base page, 7 mm from the upper edge and sew along the edge with blue thread. In the next step, place green element on top of the blue one so that their bottom edges overlap and sew from here to this place. At the beginning and end of sewing, sew forward and back and repeat three times. Next, we will make a shelf and a TV set, so cut out these patterns. Place patterns on the right color of felt, outline shapes and cut them out along the drawn lines. Place blue element on the base page at the same height as the fireplace and sew it along the edge with blue thread. Next, draw a horizontal line in the middle with vanishing marker. 
and sew it on twice with blue thread. Place white elements on the sides and sew them along the edge with white thread. Prepare two small buttons with a diameter of 6 mm, place them here and sew them by hand with double thread. In the center of the larger mesh element, place velcro with a loop side that you prepared earlier and sew it on. Place velcro on the base patch between picture and shell and sew it on. Place black and orange elements on the smaller brush one in this way and sew them along the edge. Turn this element over, place the reset in the middle and sew along the edge. The upper and lower threads are wide. Prepare another three small buttons, place them on orange element and sew by hand with double thread. Finally, cut off excess bash felt along the edge of the TV set. In the next step, cut out the remaining patterns to make a couch. Place patterns on right color of felt, outline shapes and cut them out along the draw lines. Place this element in the middle of the upper right part of the base page, 9mm from the bottom edge and sew along the edge with blue thread. Next, in this paper pattern, make holes in the places of dots. Place pattern on blue elements so that they overlap 
and draw dots in the places of holes. Then connect the dots by drawing a vertical line with vanishing marker. And sew it twice on the machine with blue thread. Now take this element, place it here, 7mm from the bottom edge of the previous element, and sew it twice only, from here to this place and from here to this place. Arrange brush elements in this way, place white circles here, and sew them along the edge with white thread. In the next step, place prepared elements here to cover the sides of the couch and sew them along the edge with white thread. Next, prepare patterns of the title Living Room Part 2 and cut out first 5 patterns to make carpet, table and a book. Place patterns on right color of felt, outline shapes with vanishing marker, then cut them out. Place carpet in the center of the lower right part of the base page and sew it along the edge with green thread. Prepare blue and larger brown element. In the center of the blue element, place velcro with a hoop side. And in the center of the brown element, velcro with a loop side. Then sew them on. Place table on the carpet in this place. And sew it along the edge with blue thread. Turn this element over, place smaller brow element in the middle, and sew along the edge. The upper and lower threads are brown.
In the middle of this element, draw a vertical line with vanishing marker. Place the bash elements on top of each other. Secure them with clips. And place them in the middle of the smaller brown element. Then sew them twice along the drawn line with white thread. The color of the bottom thread is the same as the color of the velcro. Finally, cut off excess brown felt along the edge of the book. In the next step, cut out patterns to make a cut. Place patterns on white felt, outline shapes with vanishing marker, then cut them out. In the center of this element, place velcro with a loop side and sew it on. Turn this element over, place this element on top, 8 mm from the right edge and sew along the edge with white thread. Place the heel to cover the bottom edge of the previous element and sew it along the edge with white thread. In this paper pattern, make hole in a place of dot. Place pattern on the head so that they overlap. And draw dot in a place of hole. In the place of dot will be a nose. I will embroider it with French dot method with two black threads on the needle. If you want, you can also draw it with fabric marker. In the next step, I will draw eyes and cat whiskers and also embroider them with two black threads. If you prefer, you can sew them on the machine.
his head here and sew it along the edge with white thread. At the end, cut off excess white fur along the edge of the cut. Place cat on the carpet and draw the place where velcro touches the base page. Then place the last velcro with a hook side in this place and sew it on. Now cut out the last patterns to make a doll. Place patterns on the right color of felt, outline shapes and cut them out along the drawn lines. Place this pattern on brush felt and outline in shape with finishing marker. Place these two elements here so that they match the shape you draw earlier. And sew them along the edge with brown and red thread. The bottom thread is white. In the next step, place dress here and sew it along the edge with green thread.
In this paper pattern, make holes in the places of dots. Place pattern on head so that they overlap. And draw dots in the places of holes. Prepare a small piece of black felt and a hole punch. Choose the largest size and make two circles. Place circles on the head in the places of dots and sew them by hand with black thread in the same way as making a sun on picture. Now, in the center place, I will embroider twinkles in the eyes with French knot method with two white threads on the needle, in the same way as we're making cat's nose. Then draw cheeks on the sides and embroider them in the same method with pink thread. Next, I will draw a smile and then embroider it with two black threads on the needle. Place head here so that it matches the drawn shape and sew it along the edge with white thread. Place the last element on the previous one so that the upper edges meet and sew it along the edge with brown thread. The bottom thread is white. Finally, cut off excess batch felt along the edge of the girl. Now we can finish the base page. Prepare two base page elements, arrange them in this way, turn this element over, place it in the middle, then sew both elements along these two lines from here to this place and from here to this place. The upper and lower threads are pink.
In the next stage we will start sewing from this place 2 mm to the left of this line then sew along this line until we reach this place then sew along the edge to this place 2 mm to the right of this line then sew up to this place the upper and lower threads are pink Now cut off excess pink felt along the edge of the base page. Finally cut along this drawn line from here to this place. Be careful not to cut the seams. If you want to combine the living room with my other three dimensional dollhouse pages, prepare a hole punch, choose the largest size and make hole in the place of this dot. Then thread shoelace from each of this page, tie a bow and it's ready. The living room is ready. Thank you very much for watching. If you would like to make other rooms from the 3D dollhouse collection, click on these videos. I would be very grateful if you like or comment this video. See you soon. Bye bye.